When I was a kid, one of my first jobs was helping my dad prepare all of his customer statements at the end of each month. Basically, he'd use these statements to remind his customers what he had done for them that month and what they owed him at the end of the month. I didn't really do anything technical, but I would fold up all the customer statements, put them in the envelope, and then lick each envelope. There were enough of these things that, at the end of it, my tongue would be pretty sore. For various reasons, I no longer do things like that, and neither does my dad. But customer statements are still a valuable piece of the bookkeeping process for a lot of companies. And yes, we could use follow-up levels and it might do what we need it to do, but a customer statement works better for a lot of companies because it groups together all the invoices and just gives us a balance due for our customer. So let's see what we can figure out. Odoo gives us some help here, but I had to do some significant digging to get this. Our goal here is that a customer statement goes out to each customer at the end of the month if they have an open AR balance with us. What I've set up here should work on odoo.com and any other version of Enterprise. And I'm going to take you through it step by step, so there's nothing to worry about here. So the first thing that we're going to do is go into Apps, remove the filter, and search Customer Statement. Okay, so either of these guys will actually give us what we need. This guy is actually just a bridge that installs this guy. So let's install this one. Once we've done that, we can go into our contacts and go to a customer and we can go to print customer statements. That brings us up a nice little report here that gives us a customer statement and it's showing the activity from the 1st of September to the 9th of September. Now that's not bad and it might be great for certain situations, but we want this to run at the end of the month and we want it to show the detail for everything in the previous month. And yes, I do know that I could go to the partner ledger and I could run each of these manually and adjust the dates if I wanted to, but I really don't want to do that. I want this to run automatically and go out on an email. So let's go ahead and start digging into the more intense side of this. So let's make sure we're in developer mode, click the monkey, and we're going to go to scheduled actions real quick here. Let's create a new one and we're going to call this send monthly customer statements. Model doesn't matter too much for us here, but we're going to call it res.partner, which is our contact table. And go ahead and copy in that code that I provided you in the description because I love you guys. Now, because I wanted this to work in all versions of Odoo Enterprise, I had to simplify this a little bit. So what we're doing first here is setting the ID of the template that we're sending the email based on. We want to keep this nice and simple, so we're using all this functionality here. If you're not familiar with how to adjust email templates, you might want to check out my video here. Anyway, we grab the ID from right here and we plug it in right here. Okay. The next thing that we want to set is today and we're going to get the date that we ran this so that we can set up our name properly. After that, we're going to get any of the contacts that have a balance. So we're looking at credit is greater than zero on our res.partner table. And I'm limiting it to one for right now so that we can do that for testing purposes. You want to clear all of this out when you're ready to run it properly. Then we're saying for each of those contacts, we're going to render our report. We're going to create an attachment from that render. And then we're going to create an email, attach the attachment to it, and send it out. So let's go ahead and try this out. So click Run Manually, and let's see what email we get. So looking at back at our email template, we'd expect the name to be testing, testing, no subject. Uh, the body would be, hello, this is a test for customer statements. And we would have it sent to my email address here. Looking at that, we have, yep, this customer statement. It's run for this partner. It's got all of our detail up to today. And yeah, this looks good. So now that we know that this is sending properly, we need to set it to send at the end of each month so that it gets all of the previous month in it. So we're going to come back to our scheduled action here. We're going to execute edit every one month. And our next execution date is going to be at the end of this month at the end of the day. And it looks like Odoo is getting rid of number of calls, at least that's what it looks like here. But in older versions of Odoo, we would want to make sure that we set the number of calls to negative so that it goes on indefinitely. So now you should have a fully functioning monthly customer statement that goes out at the end of each month. If you have any questions about this, or really anything else, go ahead and drop it in the comments below, or grab some time on my Calendly. Thanks again for tuning in, I hope it was helpful to you, and we'll see you again soon.